Dawn, the boss lady, the boss bitch, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, yes, yes. I miss you guys so much. I feel like I haven't done a vlog for you in such a long time, but here I am today bringing you guys one, so get excited about it. Of course, this is going to be another club vlog. I haven't done one since I went to Miami. I honestly haven't been working a lot lately. I've been dedicating my time to learning to, for school and just trying to figure out other ways to make money. Yeah, so I just feel like you know, tonight's a good night to record because you're not gonna catch me out here a lot in these streets. Let's just get on with this video. Okay, so I can feel a headache coming in, so I'm about to drink some matcha, make some matcha before I leave because it has caffeine in it and caffeine works great for headaches. I do carry Tylenol on me, but I hate taking painkillers because they make me nauseous. So it is a new month and I'm kind of dedicating this month to learning. So I bought three new books off of Amazon and I just wanted to show them to you guys. So I got The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. I got Becoming a Person of Influence and I got The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. I heard a lot of good reviews about this book. The Influence book I'm more so reading because I just, you know, being that I'm on social media, I kind of want to learn the do's and don'ts when it comes to you know having your life out there and what to expect so that's what I'm doing I also got two notebooks so I can write down notes from the books that I do read one of them is more so for my mental state of mind and the other one is more so me learning stuff financially or financial goals that I have so so I have two different notebooks for that and then I have three new books that I am currently reading. So I'm super excited. March is going to be all about learning. Oh my gosh. By the way, I'm just going to throw it out there that I put everyone in my family onto matcha because not everyone is drinking my stuff. I got my matcha tea and we are ready to hit the road. It is after 11 p.m. so I need to get going so let's just get on out this house right now okay so I'm running pretty late today it's already 11 14 I'm supposed to be there before 12 and I do not like to rush when I'm driving oh so there's these cats in my yard and I actually fed them when they were kittens because I seen them on the doorstep so I gave them some tuna because they were the cutest things ever and they are still like surrounding my house and they're huge it's crazy how big they got but they're so cute but they kind of scary sometimes because they pop out out of nowhere i'm just gonna pack up my money bag my dance bag everything like that to bring it to the club while my car warms up and then i'm going to head onto the highway so i'll talk to you guys later I just wanted to 
that's on me, ayy Any day could've been dead High school price on my head Paranoid line in my bed Pray to God they don't turn shirt cherry red I was lost, didn't know me Introduced myself to Codeine Six months was a dope fiend Philly didn't even know things There was a low me Swear to God it woulda owed me Anything you ever told me Anything you ever showed me I forgot it Okay, so I just wanted to do a little chit chat drive with me. I just left work and it was a pretty good night, but there are some things that I just want to talk about. I feel like I haven't sat down and spoke with you guys in such a long time, so I kind of want to give you guys an update on everything that's going on with me at this very moment. So I don't work like I used to, and it has nothing to do with the money that I'm making on YouTube. You know, the YouTube money is great. I'm thankful for it. It's an extra source of income, yeah, whatever, but... It more so has to do with the fact that I'm really, really focused on learning right now. I have a tendency to prioritize money, and I guess we all do. I need to be focused on school, and I need to be focused on my degree, and I need to be focused on growing myself as a person overall. When you work all the time, you don't have time to sit down, relax, and read a book, you know? I'd rather read a book than to go to work every night because books will teach me a lot more. Reading is gonna teach me a lot more than working in the club freaking five days a week. So I don't work as often as I used to. And another thing, when I do go to work, I feel like my energy is like completely different now. I've gotten some people who kind of kiss my ass because they know I make YouTube videos and I'm just like, bitch, you never spoke to me a day in the life before this. And if you did speak to me, you didn't like me. So don't like me now. Back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all, on me and i don't like that shit because y'all probably got bed bugs but yeah work was cool i just want you guys to know that i'm focused on more than just the club you see it on my youtube all the time but i do so much more than just this i don't sit at home and think about working in the club all day like you know i have more to offer than just the club and i mean that in the humblest way possible but seriously speaking eventually i'm gonna have to move from this so i'm just you know trying to get used to not working all the time trying to get used to prioritizing other things and exploring new ways of making money because this is gonna get old after a while you can't dance forever i don't plan on dancing for a long time and i'm happy with the money i made from it i'm happy with what i've learned from it and happy with the people i've met but you know it's a chapter in my life that's gonna have to close eventually but yeah that was just a little rant of mine giving you guys a little fyi a little update on miss tiffany be the boss don boss lady i am a well-rounded woman okay i get my money i get my education i'm cute i love it but i'm gonna speak to you guys when i get home i'm about to hit the highway and make my way over there and then we could talk about how i save my money my whole money is saving challenge update home and I'm settled in it is five o'clock in the morning and I'm tired but I promise you guys that I would tell you how I save my money so I'm just gonna show you guys briefly in this video right now some of you may not know this but I had a money saving challenge here on my channel but I made the video private for a couple reasons but in that challenge I bought a safe off of Amazon so it's a lock box and you need a key to access it I just put 10 to 20 percent of everything I make into the safe or into savings or whatever type of savings account you like to use and that's how I save my money I always make sure that I pay myself first I never had a problem with bin shopping I always knew how to save my money I always knew how to pace myself when it comes to spending and all those types of things so yeah that's just what I do but I know you guys enjoy this video so make sure you stay tuned for next time and I will talk to you guys later